Um, no, you're 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 getting me in a very vulnerable spot. We got the uh, we got a phone. I got the phone call from David Kelly yesterday at like noon. So it's been a little more than 24 hours processing it, and it's so it's more like right now it's like anger. <laughs> it's like realizing that it just it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter how many people show up if they're not young, you're fucked. Which is sending such a fucking terrible. It's sending. I'm swearing like crazy. You can use it on satellite, but you guys can't use it. Um, I mean, the number two, number two watch show. It's insane. The only sh the only shows on the network that got more viewers was football and The Voice. Scripted shows, we had eight million people on average show up. The Office, Thirty Rock, Parks and Rec, Community are all great shows, but they get about three. Yeah. yeah. And there's their demo is higher. We had, we got we averaged eight, and we changed and we weren't marketed. No, they did. They spent no money on marketing our show. There's no billboards and sides of buses. There was a little push, and we were mid season. And when you're a mid season show, you don't get the kind of marketing muscle that you do for a fall campaign. Hmm. And we sw we switched uh, times. That wasn't put out there at all, and yet people still showed up. And it's just like. It's just, a, it's just, they send a very specific message to people who create television, saying, create something that young people will watch, and if not, we're not interested. Will this color the way you look at network from now on? Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. I mean, like, the first time I realized this when I did the upfronts for, for a show that I did five or six years ago, and you realize that you're just, like, the buffer between advertisements. When you're on set and you're working as an actor and you're like working with a writer and a director and you're working, you're like, oh, this is what it's about. And then you pull the microscope back and you see the bigger picture and you gain some wisdom and realize, oh, wow, okay, I am simply a pawn in this game of selling iPods and diamond rings and drugs for Pfizer, you know? So it's, it's disheartening and it makes you just want to say... You know, Sayonara. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry.